Let's learn some Python string formatting. So when using F string formatting, you can specify a field width when printing strings. For example, if we want to print hello world, my name is, and then your name, around the curly braces where your name variable goes, you can have a colon 10 and that'll set a width of 10. So if your name was only five letters, it'll be five additional spaces added to it. You can also add an align character before the field width to set the position of the string. So you can have the left caret symbol or the less than sign to left align, the right caret symbol to right align, or the up caret symbol to center the variable within that width. And you can also add a fill character before the align character to fill up empty space. And the default is space. And finally, you can set floating point precision by adding a dot number and then the letter F after a floating point variable where number or the hashtag is the number of decimal places. For example, a dot 2F after any kind of variable will only display that numerical number with two decimal places. And this is great for representing currency in your program. Let's try out some examples of this in Python. In this example here, let's take a look at this top section. We are printing out these headers, wrapper name and net worth. And notice that we are setting the width of wrapper name to 15 spaces and the width of net worth to five spaces. And even though net worth is actually longer than five spaces, it's going to expand and make room to fit the entire thing. And then underneath, we are printing this hyphen 21 times. So this is a quick little shortcut way to print out 21 hyphens rather than just entering 21 hyphens manually. And then we are setting the consistent number of column width for each of these wrapper names, Kanye West and Drake, and, is, and setting a consistent width for their net worth in the next column. And this, what this is gonna do is create this text that's highlighted here. And then notice how by assigning a width to each column, you are creating this little tabular view, which look, looks like kind of like a receipt where everything is aligned. And it doesn't just have like net worth right next to Kanye West's or Drake's name. So it's a little bit spaced out and it's even consistent lines and it's easier to read. So that is what field width allows you to do. In the next example, we're using the align character. So we could see here we are left aligning the Kanye West name, whereas here we are with the greater than sign, we're right aligning Drake's name. And you could see the differences here. So nothing really changed with the Kanye West. It's a default behavior left aligned it anyways, but Drake's name moved all the way to the right just before his net worth of $150. Using this fill character, we can see it looks exactly the same because we didn't actually specify a fill character. The default is a space. But right before the align character, you could just stick a dollar sign there or anything that you want. Let's try something different for Drake. Let's try um, asterisk. If we run this program and you'll see that the space was, so since Kanye West is left aligned, all the other blank spaces were filled by the dollar sign. And since Drake is right aligned, all the spaces previous to Drake's name are filled with the asterisk. So that's what the fill character does. And then finally, since we're dealing with currency, you probably want two decimal places after their net worth. So by using a dot 2F after this number, it will make it two decimal places as shown here. And this only works with numerical values, whereas in the previous examples, we use strings for their numbers, which we shouldn't have. But if you're dealing with actual numbers, they shouldn't be strings. They should be not surrounded in double quotation marks. And let's say that we had some change like this. Let's make this number a lot bigger. Oops. Let's say Kanye West got a raise and prints out his new salary. And notice that even though there's a whole bunch of numbers after the decimal, only two print out. And if you wanted more printing out, you could change that two to a three. Now there's three numbers after the decimal instead of, instead of two. But for currency, you definitely want to stick with two.